time where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere Often when you have one of those rarest of moments Where you get to have a night in all by yourself Just to unwind, read a book or watch some Netflix on top of my list at such times, although very rare, comes my famed and gorgeous beetroot and pear salad. A salad that gets done in 15 minutes flat, roasting in the oven to perfection. Warm pears beautifully with either some light ale or wine on the side. Let's get to cooking it. A night in all by yourself at times is such a luxury that you do not really want to waste time slaving away in a kitchen. For that, I've taken four beetroots, boiled it, boiled it with the skin so that it doesn't bleed and kept them aside. While you just can cut the beetroot and put it to roast, it gets extremely hard and chewy. However, I like it to be crisp on the outside and soft and gooey within. To start off, I'm just going to get to coarsely cutting my pears. Just go right into half. You can go as coarse as possible. I'm going to create wedges of the same. I'm not going to do any fanfare or any drama out here. Remove the center core and cut it diagonally. The next one. I've lined my baking sheet with an aluminium foil and created quite a compartment in between so that my pears don't mix and the beetroot doesn't stain the pears actually. So here I've got these gorgeous wedges coming alive. These go straight on one compartment of my baking tray and we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil, so about 10 ml so that it gives it that perfect coating on it. And I want it to get that beautiful caramel as well, so about a sprinkle of some sugar right on top. It just brings out the overall sweetness of the pears. A generous sprinkling of some lavender rosemary sea salt. With one half done, let's get to now cutting the beetroot. Quite a messy affair. It stains everything it comes in contact with. So into half, half again. And another half. Let's get it to a one by eight wedges so that they look so pretty and while they are staining my fingers and creating quite a havoc here, I'm just going to cut them and enjoy it. On the other side, this goes. Ensure that it doesn't mix with that, otherwise it's just going to stain the pears and the pears are not going to get that distinct color coming through in this salad. Another 10 ml of extra virgin olive oil on it. And while I'm using this lavender rosemary sea salt, you can go right ahead, use some Himalayan pink, you can use a garlic roasted salt, or you can just go right and use an iodized salt. This is done and ready to go straight into my preheated oven. In this goes at 200 degrees Celsius for just about 15 minutes because we want the beetroot to get that outside char, we want the pears to caramelize beautifully yet hold on to its most delectable crunch. With the pears and the beets roasting in the oven, in goes the perfect dressing. So about 30 to 40 ml of balsamic vinegar. I love using aged balsamic and it just adds that additional tart to the overall dressing. So with the balsamic in, we're just going to get to creating the perfect vinaigrette with drizzling in some extra virgin olive oil. Don't be alarmed with the big bowl because I'm just going to add the pears and the beets into this and give it a good tossing. With this blended well, I'm not going to add any salt out here because my beets are already salted. In goes a sprinkling of some freshly milled black pepper. And we're done. 
Now, while I have gone down the shortcut route and put everything into the oven, I'm trying to achieve a purpose out here of minimalistic cooking, wherein you can also go down the route by actually grilling this straight on a pan. Always start with grilling the pears first so that they caramelize nicely with a light sprinkle of sugar on top. Remove them out and then get to caramelizing the beetroot. Grilling the beetroot, always be careful because it stains and creates quite a glucky mass. With this ready, it's now time to just have it tossed hot in the vinaigrette. Perfect of char. And we're ready. Pick up the beetroot hot, as hot as it is, and drop it straight into the vinaigrette. When you drop it hot into the vinaigrette, the vinaigrette just goes right into scenting the beetroot and you get maximum flavor. That's the purpose to be achieved in this glorious vinaigrette. So with the beetroot in, now I'm getting to the pears. Just take them, put them on top. And while I love beetroot, I am particularly fond of creating salads of beetroot, different concoctions that keep coming as and when I get the need to eat some beetroot. Here we go, rightly give it a toss, allow every flavor to merge. A gentle swirl and a slight toss is all that's required to ensure everything flavors well. You do not need to do too much of drama out here, just ensure that the sharp dressing engulfs the beetroot and the pears. Into my bowl. And my bowl has a great handle as well so that I can actually sit on the couch and enjoy this deep bowl of ruby red beetroots coming alive with the pears. For the garnish, all we are going to add is a generous sprinkling of some toasted pistachios just to give it that good fat into it and crunch that is so required here. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous salad with me. Beetroot and pears coming together perfectly with the subtle flavors that balsamic brings to the entire vinaigrette. Pistachio nuts on top is just a welcoming addition to the entire salad. While I go and enjoy this and watch some Netflix, don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe. Who are we doing this week? Tesco. Oh, yes. We're here. We're in town, you guys. <laughs>